Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on simplifying algebraic fractions where linear factorization of both the numerator and denominator is required. So let's remember how we simplify fractions in general. If I had 6 over 8, you look for a common factor. So what's common to 6 and 8? They both have a factor of 2, so we divide top and bottom by 2, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's how, in general, we simplify fractions. We look for something to divide by. Now, for algebraic fractions, it's, it's the same method, but you might need to factorise first. So the first step is to factorise, and the second step is to divide by any common factors. Hopefully, this will become clearer when I actually do some examples. So, what about this first one? Now, the title suggests that we need to factorise both of them. So, factorise the top first, the numerator. What's common to 4x and 2? Well, they both have a factor of 2. And then 2 times what is 4x? It's 2x. 2 times what is 2? Well, it's 1. And then, if we factorise the denominator, 10x squared and 5x have what in common? Well, 10 and 5 have a factor of 5 in common. And then x squared and x have x in common. And then we think 5x times what is 10x squared? Well, it's 2x. And then 5x times what is 5x? It's 1. So we've done the first step, we factorise, and the second step is to divide by any common factors. Can you see you've got 2x plus 1 common to the top and the bottom? So we divide the top by 2x plus 1. We can just kind of cross it out because it's 2 times 2x plus 1 divided by the 2x plus 1, it just goes. And you can similarly cross this one off at the bottom by dividing by 2x plus 1. Make sure you're always thinking that you're dividing, not like subtracting or anything like that. And what we're left with, it's just 2 over 5x, and that's the final answer. And the second one, well, let's factorise first. These two terms have a 3 in common. Now, x to the 4 and x cubed they have x cubed in common, because if you think about it, x to the 4 just means x, 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 and that x cubed means x, x, x. They have three factors of x in common, so x cubed in common. Then let's think of a bracket. 3x cubed times what is 3x to the 4? Well, it's got an additional x, because x cubed times x will be x to the 4. And 3x cubed times what is 3x cubed? Well, it's just 1. 1 times 3x cubed will just be itself. And then the bottom. What do these have in common? Well, they have 4 in common, and x squared and x have x in common. Now, 4x times what is 4x squared? It's x. 4x times what is 4x? It's plus 1. And again, we've got the x plus 1 common to the top and the bottom, so we can cross these out. Ah, but there's slightly more that cancels as well. x cubed and x have x in common. So, I could divide the top and bottom by x. So if I divide the top and bottom by x, if I divide the x cubed by x, I'm just left with x squared, so we've, so we've got 3x squared left. And when I divide the x by x, it just disappears, and we're left with that 4 there. So we can effectively cross out the x, and we're left with that. So that one is a bit harder.